everyone welcome back to my channel i'm sorry i know i'm just gonna say it right off the bat i'm sorry for the glare on my glasses no i apologize for this like every video i just i feel like i have to apologize because when i watch people and they have glare on their glasses i'm like ah how bootleg. I mean, there's not much I can do about it. I don't own lighting, so. So today I have an educational video. I know what you're all thinking. You're all like, holy shit, Jordan is actually about to tell us something valuable for the first time in her life. But I got a lot of feedback after my last video that I posted on my channel. Um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely suggest you check it out. It was just me kind of talking about like a lot of issues that we face when we lose a lot of weight and like kind of the effects that massive weight loss have on us in terms of like mental health and everything like that. I got a lot of questions about calorie counting, um, over restricting and everything like that. So for this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to calculate your own caloric goals um, because there's a lot of information on the internet as I mentioned in my last video, that is just incorrect. And since there's such an absence of correct information, a lot of us tend to fall into this very negative, very toxic mentality when it comes to calorie counting. We don't eat enough, uh, we're afraid of food, everything like that. So that's the point of this video. I'm just going to teach you guys how to calculate your calories. And hopefully, um, if you're like me, you will be very surprised by how much you can actually eat when losing weight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring up the calorie counter on my phone and then I'll just like put it on the screen or whatever. And I'm gonna show you guys that basically when it comes to calories, there is no set answer for how many you should be eating because everybody, like everybody has a different body, everybody weighs something different, everybody's height is different, and everybody has a different activity level. So when you go on a website or you see an influencer say that this is the set amount of calories you should be eating, it's wrong. Like, there's no one set amount because there are so many different factors that affect how many calories you should be eating, like you personally should be eating. So, like I said in my other video, when I started losing weight, I read 1200 calories and I know that number is fucking thrown everywhere all over the internet. So that's what I read, I went to 1500 calories and as I mentioned, I mean I don't wanna repeat this whole video, but as I mentioned, I just under ate um, because I didn't know. So hopefully this is just like, a push for you guys to eat more because my main goal in this whole thing is making sure that you guys eat enough. All right, so we are going to get started. The lighting keeps changing. I apologize. I know it's annoying as fuck. I'm just gonna move over here and I'm going to try and put the information here. So I'm just recording my screen right now. So the first thing you guys are gonna do is at the top you can see the URL. So it's tdeecalculator.net. So that's the tool I prefer to use. Um, I mean, there are a lot of calorie counters online. I like this one, it's free, it's easy to use. So that's the one we're gonna be using today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my statistics and then I'll put in some statistics, some random statistics. Uh, I don't know, maybe my beginning weight, maybe, I don't know. I will do a couple just so you guys can see. So I am female, I am 24 years old. I am 175 pounds, I'm five foot nine, I remembered. <laughs> in my activity level, I would classify as heavy exercise, which is six to seven days a week. Um, honestly, the hardest part about filling this out is you have to kind of gauge like what your exercise level is. And sometimes I'm like, wait, am I moderate exercise? But no, like if you're working out for more than an hour a day, like five days a week, you are doing heavy exercise. Okay, so as you can see, my maintenance calories. So my maintenance calories are basically 2,800 calories. So what that means is that I can eat 2,800 calories a day and not gain any weight. So like to maintain my weight, that's how many calories I have to eat. So if I was good with like 175 pounds, like I would eat 2,800 calories a day, um, keep up like my heavy exercise, and then like I'd be good. Like I would not gain any fucking weight. Like it would be, it would be gold. However, since I am trying to lose weight, I need to eat at a caloric deficit. So what I do is I subtract 500 from this number um, to create my 500 calorie a day deficit, and then by the end of the week, that will lead to one pound of fat and weight loss. Basically what I do is 2,800 calories, subtract 500, so 2,300 calories is what I'm gonna aim for every single day to eat. So just a disclaimer, there's a lot of shit on this app that like you should just ignore. Like the, I'm not a big fan of BMI because BMI, like it can account for like muscle mass and stuff like that, so it's always saying people are, you know, obese when they're not. I know a lot of people who are like in weightlifting and the BMI classifies them as obese because it can't, like, it doesn't realize that some people have muscle, like. But anyway, 
So down here, this stuff is really important as well. So as you'll see, it says basal metabolic rate. So basically what this means is this is how many calories your body burns just by being alive. So 1600 calories. That means like if tomorrow I got in a car accident and I could not move a fucking inch, like I slept all day, my body is going to burn that many calories just because. Like just because that's how many calories my body burns to function. So in my opinion, this is a really important number. So you see, my body needs 1600 calories just to function. So I need to eat that just to function properly so when you go onto these websites or you see these influencers saying to eat 1200 calories like 1200 calories is fewer than my body needs to even function add in my exercise and that is really really fucking low when you get this low you're at risk of a lot of health complications and i mean i know i don't need to like preach it at you i don't need to like i don't want to be super annoying but like it can lead to a lot of stuff you don't want to experience like loss of bone density you don't want uh, loss of muscle you don't like you don't want that you don't want an eating disorder you don't want all of these things that calorie restriction can lead to so I know it's easier to lose weight when you restrict more but it is smarter to restrict at a healthy deficit okay so I'm going to do another one let's say um I was okay so let's say 21 weight 240 height I don't know five four an exercise of moderate exercise. So not super heavy, but not super low. We're gonna calculate. So as you can see, your maintenance calories are 2,800 calories, which is higher than my maintenance calories, right? Like not much, but it's still higher. And that's because when you weigh more, you just naturally need to eat more, even if you're exercising less, right? Because you just weigh more, so your body needs more to function properly. So what you would be eating at, at the 500 calorie deficit would be 2,350. Right, so that's how many calories you want to aim to eat a day. None of this fucking 1200 calorie a day bullshit. Like none of that, none. So again, we go down, you see the basal metabolic rate and you see that the metabolic rate is 1800 calories, just over, well over 1800 calories. So when you eat 1200 calories, you are literally not feeding your body what it needs. But if you eat at a moderate deficit of 500, you're still eating like 2300 calories. So your body is getting what it needs, but it's not getting enough to gain weight, right? It's still going to lose weight because you're still burning more than what you're consuming. And that's what's important to remember is as long as you're eating at a deficit, you will lose weight. Burn more than you consume, your body will lose weight. Like you will burn fat. And I know that's an idea that like is really hard to understand and accept because I know when it comes to calories, it's very scary. I know especially if you lost like the first 50, the first 20, even the first five pounds eating 1200 calories a day, that you are going to be scared to up your calories but like you need to up your calories and when you up your calories you're not gonna like you're not gonna gain all your weight back because even if you up your calories you're still eating at a deficit right you're just eating at a much less severe deficit so you're not gonna gain weight back if you're still eating at a deficit because that literally defies science like you cannot gain weight if you're not eating enough to gain weight losing weight will mean fuck all if you destroy your body in the process like there are things that are so easily avoidable that people are just like i get it i do get it because i didn't know either i was very uneducated in like weight loss but now that i'm telling you i just want everyone to like eat enough like i don't want people to restrict so heavily because it does lead to detrimental like health effects and if you don't have to experience that down the road like why would you and like i know the type of comments i'm gonna get below i know someone's gonna say well why do i need to eat more if i'm full on 1200 calories a day <laughs> okay you might be full on 1200 calories a day but 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 just because you do not feel the sensation of hunger does not mean your body is not hungry just because you're not hangry doesn't mean your body doesn't have enough to self-sustain like doesn't mean that your body is getting all the nutrients it needs like the number one side effect of not eating enough is nutrient deficiency because how is your body going to get all the nutrients it needs like if you're heavier you obviously need more of a certain nutrient than someone who's smaller and like i read that all the time like why would i eat more if i'm not hungry you are hungry and just because you don't feel it doesn't mean you're not oh what does this all mean i guess what does calorie counting calorie counting offer you i've been pretty transparent about the fact that when i first started calorie counting it became a very toxic thing for me 
mostly because I used it as um, I guess a tool to measure how little I could eat because like I said when I first started losing weight I did not understand I did not understand why my body needed what it needed so for me I developed a very toxic mentality when it came to calorie counting so that's why I stopped calorie counting since reintroducing calorie counting into uh, my routine I actually think it has been very beneficial and it has been beneficial because of something that's called flexible dieting so if you don't know what flexible dieting is um, I'll just go over it briefly it basically means that you can that you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits in your calories and your macros so obviously there are certain ways to do this like you can do a very unhealthy flexible diet like if you're only eating chocolate because it fits like obviously you want to be eating vegetables you want to be eating like adequate proteins like you want to be eating food that's good for you but the point is that when you follow this flexible dieting lifestyle you can actually eat foods that you have been taught to look at as taboo or as bad so for example every single day in my calories i can fit cake so i do obviously like if i can i'm gonna eat cake every fucking day so this cake i eat is only 280 calories for a slice so i eat it every single day and what that has done is that has taken power away from food so before when i would be scared to eat cake I now look at it and I'm like, I don't want to binge on cake because I know it's going to be there tomorrow because I know I can eat it whenever the fuck I want. I can make it fit. So yeah, like that's basically how you calculate your calorie goal. And obviously it is much more complex when you look at um, macros and everything. And macros are kind of like their own subject on their own. Like I'm not too familiar with macros. Basically what I try to do is I make sure to hit my protein goal. And then if I hit my protein goal, I'm good because just naturally, I naturally tend to eat like fewer fats um, as a lot of you will know when I first started losing weight I was on a high carb diet so just in general I don't eat a lot of fat so I just aim to hit my protein goal especially since I started powerlifting like my protein is my most important macro to hit so for me I probably hit around 120 to 150 grams of protein a day just make sure you get adequate amounts of protein make sure you get adequate amounts of fat and make sure you get adequate amounts of carbs however like I said please try to use calorie counting as a tool to show you what you can eat instead of what you can't eat. Try to use it as something to like liberate you, like to make you feel more comfortable with food because that's what I've been able to do. I now look at food and say, wow, that's awesome. I can fit that in my day and I can eat that. Instead of me looking at food and saying, I can never eat that because it's a bad food. Like when you start flexible dieting, when you, when you realize how much stuff you can make fit into your diet, it takes power away from food. There are no longer bad foods or good foods. It's just what you can fit in that day. So yeah, I really hope that this video helped you guys. Um, as I've said, many times like i am not a professional i'm just trying to give you as much information as i can uh because i know it can help you guys uh yeah if you're new here you can check out my weight loss journey on my youtube channel as well as my instagram account uh that i used to document the entire thing oh thank you guys so 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 so, so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye